Louise Brown became the world's first in vitro fertilization, or IVF, baby in 1978. Given that approximately one in every eight couples have problems conceiving, her birth transformed the science of reproductive medicine. IVF is so popular that it has resulted in the birth of over 5 million kids. IVF works by emulating sexual reproduction's brilliant design. In vitro fertilization, or IVF, is a process in which a woman's eggs are fertilized outside of her body and then returned inside to aid in her pregnancy. A woman's reproductive system is comprised of the vagina, cervix, uterus, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. Ovulation occurs during the monthly menstrual cycle, when one of the ovaries produces an egg. The egg enters the fallopian tube following ovulation. A woman is most likely to conceive if she has sex in the days preceding, during, or immediately following ovulation. During this time, a sperm cell from a man's reproductive fluid, called semen, can fertilize the egg as it travels down the fallopian tube. The fertilized egg, which is now referred to as an embryo, sheds the outer cells that sustained it in the ovary. The embryo exits the fallopian tube and enters the uterus. The embryo sheds its protective outer coat, known as the zona pellucida, in the uterus, a process known as zona hatching. Zona hatching is required for the embryo to implant into the uterine tissue during implantation. Between the woman and the embryo, a bond begins to form. This organ, termed the placenta, is responsible for the transfer of oxygen and nutrients from the mother to the embryo. If the egg is not fertilized by sperm within 24 hours, it dies, and the entire system resets itself in preparation for the next month's egg and uterine lining production. In vitro fertilization may be conducted if a woman is having difficulty conceiving, a condition called as infertility, or if she wishes to have a child without a male partner. Prior to in vitro fertilization, a woman will get fertility medicine that stimulates the growth and maturation of several eggs in the ovaries. FSH hormone is injected at doses greater than those naturally found to induce a controlled hyperstimulation of the ovaries, causing them to eventually produce multiple eggs. A male will donate a sperm sample to gather the healthiest sperm for conception. If the male partner is fully infertile, also known as sterile, or if the woman does not have a male partner, a donor sperm contribution may be arranged. Three distinct procedures comprise in vitro fertilization, aspiration of follicles, fertilization, and embryo transfer. Eggs will be collected from the ovaries during the first procedure, called follicle aspiration. An ultrasound probe will be put into the woman's vagina to allow her doctor to view her ovaries. The doctor will examine the ovaries for follicles. Each follicle is a sac filled with fluid and containing an egg. The doctor will then implant the long, thin needle into and through the vaginal wall, guiding it to the ovary. A suction device attached to the needle will extract several eggs from their follicles. The second stage of in vitro fertilization, called fertilization, involves immediately transporting the retrieved eggs to a laboratory to be fertilized. Fertilization can be accomplished through insemination, in which multiple sperms are mixed with the healthiest eggs, or through intracytoplasmic sperm injection, in which sperm are injected directly into the eggs. The second procedure is very helpful when there is a problem with the sperm's quality. Three to five days after fertilization, fertilized eggs, also called the embryos, begin to mature. Embryos can be further evaluated for genetic viability following fertilization. The laboratory may make a hole in the zona pellucida surrounding some of the embryos at this point. This procedure, known as assisted hatching, will aid in the embryo's implantation into the uterus. Some embryos will be transferred immediately, while the remainder may be frozen and saved for future use if necessary. 
three to five days following fertilization, embryo transfer is performed. A probe called a speculum will be put into the woman's vagina during embryo transfer to allow the doctor to view her cervix. One or more hatched embryos will be placed into a syringe. The syringe will then be connected to a long, thin tube known as a catheter. The catheter will be inserted into the vagina, via the cervix, and into the uterus by the doctor. The doctor will inject the embryos inside the uterus. The catheter and speculum will be withdrawn at that point. The woman may remain on her back for an additional 15 minutes. If the intended mother has an issue with her uterus or does not have one, another woman, referred to as the gestational carrier or surrogate, can utilize her uterus to bear the baby, increasing the chances of success to as high as 40% for a woman under the age of 35. Occasionally, the doctor may transfer many embryos simultaneously, which is why IVF produces twins and triplets more frequently than spontaneous pregnancies. However, most clinics attempt to avoid multiple pregnancies because they are more dangerous for moms and newborns.